welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Lexi and today I'm gonna be showing you guys what I got from home goods this is the first like home decor outside of makeup type of haul that I've done on my channel I've done some from IMATS like a couple years in a row but I've never done anything like home goods I'm not gonna lie I am in and out of home goods. Whenever I'm not working or doing makeup or whatever I'm doing, I'm in and out of home goods. So to be honest, I hadn't gone in a few months though, even prior to coronavirus happening. Obviously the stores were closed due to coronavirus, but I honestly have not gone to home goods since maybe December, like the end of Christmas sales, because because your girl dropped some money in December and I didn't want it to happen again in the beginning of the year and then obviously the stores closed. So I haven't been able to go. But I posted on my Instagram story that I was at Home Goods and I had hella people respond to me. So I posted this Instagram story this morning and I had so many people respond to me like, oh my god, your Home Goods is open. Like, I really want to go. Do they have good stuff? All the questions. So I just wanted to film a video to kind of share this a part of my quarantine with you guys <laughs> so i'm so excited to show you guys and get into this haul to be completely honest ever since i've discovered home goods i have been addicted so <laughs> i'm sure everyone who's watching this video also feels the same way because you're watching the video for a reason but since i was little my grandma has had like so many decorations for every holiday like christmas thanksgiving st patrick's day like president's day so i blame that on her <laughs> and i also obviously dyed my hair so it's been almost like eight months since I got my hair done and I definitely needed a touch up but when I was there I just decided you know what let's just go for it and just dye my hair blonde completely so my hair girl hooked it up for me and she's definitely changed everything about my hair my hair has grown so much since I've met her and it's just at the healthiest that it's been so obviously I'm super excited to get into this haul so let's just show you the first thing so obviously I'm super excited to share with you guys everything I got so let's get into the first thing I don't even know where to start should I start with holiday because like they had hella Easter stuff let me tell you so these are all of my bags and I have like three bigger items that didn't fit in the bags but I'm gonna show like the holiday stuff first so let's just hope that there's holiday stuff in this bag I feel like I'm so <laughs> excited for this video like I literally was on like a home goods high this morning I couldn't sleep all night like when you're a kid and you're going to Disneyland it was the worst thing so I'm gonna show you guys this thing first because I want to give it to my little baby right now he's sitting right here and he hasn't seen this I've just hid it in a bag so all of the Easter things were 75% off at my home goods. I'm pretty sure it'd be the same thing at all of the home goods. So this is the first little thing I got. It's obviously just a little dog toy. <laughs> it was originally $3.99 and I actually got this for like a dollar and five cents. My dog loves little stuffed animals. He never rips them or anything and he has so many little bunnies. But he has a bigger version of this one and when I saw this it just reminded me of him. So I just thought it was so cute. So this is the next thing I got. I got this little teapot. She is so, so cute. It's just a little bunny with a couple little flowers on it. And I'm obsessed with teapots. Like, I'm in love with vintage teapots. So I obviously can't have like tons of teapots anywhere. And I honestly don't even own a teapot. I'm just obsessed with how they look. I'm always looking at them online. And when I saw this one, I just knew I had to have it. Originally, she is $12.99. But we pulled up the receipts, sis. And she is only $3.50. I honestly think that it was definitely a steal because I haven't wanted to spend like tons of money on a teapot and I feel like this one does look pretty vintage and she's still a little small so I'm super super happy that I found this so the next little thing I got is this little tiny bunny and it's the cutest little thing ever the glass or like ceramic I'm not sure what the difference is it looks like opal so the way that the glass looks it's very like opalescency <laughs> If that's a word, like, it looks like the opal, um, it looks like an opal stone when it has, like, different colors as you're moving it. When I saw this, it immediately reminded me of my grandma, so I knew that I really, really wanted this. I also ended up talking my aunt into getting a few things that I got, and this was one of them. So, now we have two little matching bunny babies. And I forgot to mention that this little bunny has little holes inside of it, and it's because it has a scent in the middle. My grandma was looking at it, and she said that she thinks you could swap out the scents, which I think is super, super cool but the one that it has in right now is peony and honeysuckle the next thing I got is from the same brand as this little guy and it's this little cute baby here it's a fake little succulent with a glass bunny so I'll be able to obviously reuse this next year so this is what we have going on she is so cute I'm obsessed so mine is obviously pink and my aunt got a matching one in white so we're gonna be matching with all of our Easter decor next year so this was originally $5.99 but I actually got it for a dollar 10. The next thing I 
got is also matching with something that I convinced my aunt to get and it's this little jar. When I was little, I know I had like a little Peter Rabbit like lunch pail or diaper bag or something and as soon as I saw this, that's what I thought of and I don't know, I just felt like this is something really special for me to have and the little bunny print is on both sides. So yeah, my little Peter Rabbit jar, I don't even think... Excuse me. Well, thankfully she didn't break. So my jar was originally $6.99, but I actually got it for $1.50, which is so crazy. Like, I can't believe how low the prices were for all of the decorations on Easter. And like I said, my aunt got the same jar as me. Hers is a little bit bigger, though. So hers was, I think, like $3.50, because it's like double the size of this one. But it's the same exact print and everything. It was so cute. So all together with all of the Easter stuff I got, it had to have been under like $10. I definitely recommend if you decorate your house or anything for holidays to try to hit up home goods for Easter if this is a holiday that you celebrate and you're trying to get cute home decor or even if you want like little tiny ceramics like this to put in your garden, anything like that, I definitely recommend. The next thing I got is another item that my aunt and I matched with. We got like three or four of the same things. So, so the next thing I picked out for us was this little dish and I actually picked this up like as I walk into the store, it's part of like a dining set, but I just thought that this was super cute to like put rings in or like keys or anything like that. So this is just the detail inside of the bowl. It's obviously just gold and white and it's kind of a funky shape. All the bowls were uniquely shaped, which I really, really love. So some of the things that I got were not on sale. This is one included and this was $2.99, which I don't think was very bad for this. Again, I'm probably just gonna use this for jewelry or keys or rings, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Now we're gonna move on to garden things that I got, like planters, pots, things like that. So last night I was actually watching a home goods haul. I was just so excited to be able to go in today and I saw that this girl got like this Ray Dunn water plant, or not a water planter, but like um, a watering bucket and it's glass. And I'm not super into Ray Dunn. Like I think the shapes are really fun and cute, but I'm not as into it. And for some reason this just like, spoke to me and I was like I hope that I see it tomorrow like that would be super cool and I found it <laughs> the one that I think the girl had though it said water and I did find that one first and then I found this one that said grow and I just liked it a lot better but it's just a little watering pot and it kind of looks like a salt and pepper shaker at the end of it it's super cute this item was on clearance and it was originally $16 I got it for $12 which it isn't that much of a discount but I mean four dollars is better than nothing so if you follow my Instagram or I think in my last video I showed some of my plants I'm just now getting into gardening and trying to kind of find what plants I'm able to keep alive right now to be honest it's been so hot that a lot of my succulents have been kind of drying out I really want to get a few new plants and I don't really have any cute pots or planters to kind of put out but I found a few of them and it kind of has a texture on it I think you can kind of hear <laughs> But yeah, it's super cute. It's like little, it has little stubby legs on it, which I don't know. I just think is so, so cute. I don't really like how obviously there's no holes in it, but I mean, I just have to kind of watch my water. How do you say? Like not your drainage, but I just have to be mindful of how much water I'm putting into this. I think for a pot like this, I'll probably get one of like the water meters or like it looks like a thermometer, but it's meant to like tell you how much water you need in your plant. So originally this was $20 and I was able to get it for only $10. So for the next planter I'm going to show you, I'm going to also have a video that's going to kind of just show you how it really looks when you fully open it up because I obviously can't do that right here in my room, but it is this guy. So these little pots are on a little spiral rack and oh, <laughs> so there's three little pots on here. You can kind of just open it up and arrange them however you prefer. It reminds me a lot of like the spiral staircases that people have on their homes. I just thought it was really pretty and I want to put a few little succulents in here. So it has a little like lock down here if you want to lock it completely so that it doesn't move. Originally this was $40 and I was able to get it for only $18. The next thing I got I'm in love with, as soon as I saw it I thought of my grandparents immediately. My grandparents love Hawaii and just like the tropical palm tree type of vibe. So as soon as I saw this, it had my grandparents' name written all over it. I was obsessed with it and I needed to bring it home to them. So I found this little birdhouse. It's so cute and just tropical vibes to it. I love the print that it had on it. This just makes me think of my grandparents immediately. When I saw this, I was like, oh. <laughs> 
my Nana and my Papa. I need to take this to them. It has a little like hanging handle to it and it also has a holder on the back if you want to just hang it on the wall. This little guy was originally $22 and I got it for $11. I'm very happy that I found this one. I think it's perfect for our backyard, perfect for my grandparents, and I love it. So the last thing I got is honestly the most beautiful, beautiful thing that I've honestly really ever owned. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I need this, I need this. It wasn't on sale. It wasn't that expensive though, but it wasn't on sale. I just knew that I needed this immediately. I've been very into vintage type of vibes and I'm obviously really into glam. So when I saw this, I knew I needed it. She is so beautiful. The details on this are just insane. The diamonds, just everything is so like perfectly crafted on this mirror. I'm so obsessed with it. It just gives me such like old Hollywood type of vibes. So yeah, this mirror is the last thing I got and it's honestly my favorite thing out of everything that I found today. I'm not really too bummed that it wasn't on sale though because it's so beautiful. Like it's so beautiful that I probably would have paid $50 for this, who knows? But I'm so happy with everything I was able to find today and I hope this was a fun short video for you guys. It was a little different than obviously all my makeup stuff that I post. If you liked any of this stuff, please let me know what your favorite is because obviously my favorite is my mirror and I think my second favorite is the birdhouse. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, it's the birdhouse. It's just, it's so cute. I'm just in love. Everything was so cute. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until I see you next time, please be kind to those around you and I'll see you soon.